All right, so today I'm going to show you a little trick to take 720p video, like video from the Tello. What we're going to do is stretch it um, and then export it out as 1080p. And if you're uploading it to YouTube, you can't tell. You can't tell. You lose like such a small amount of quality that you cannot tell just because of the way that YouTube processes video. So um, it would just allow you to have a larger video as far as screen size. So I want to show you how to do that really quick and then uh, I'll show you another little tip that will help you along the way. All right, so let's get started. All right, so we have iMovie opened up and this will work with uh, other versions of iMovie. But what we want to do is we want to take a project. Let's go here to uh, something we filmed earlier, which is some video of the Tello. So we created our project. If we go to settings over here, you'll notice that it is in 720p. So the only reason I'm doing it in this order is to show you that uh, later on, if you have a video you already have created and it's at a lower resolution, you can stretch your resolution after the fact. So something you've completely edited, say we've added all kind of music to this and we've got all our transitions and all kind of stuff hooked up, but we it's in 720, we want to get it to 1080. Well, I created this little file, it's a little 1080p, it's just a little blank file. It's a little bit of black screen. What we're going to do is we're going to drop it at the beginning and we'll go ahead and put a fade in transition on it just to just to have it be smooth. Okay, so we have our video set up. We have a little bit of black here, and basically if you hit the play button, it fades in from there. Just a couple seconds. So if you go back to your settings, you'll see it's still in 720. Well, if you were to put this little piece of uh, black video which is the 1080p video in first so say you drug this in first put your transition or basically drug this in and drug any other video you had that was in 720 it will still keep the project at 1080p but if you have something you pre-made and you wanted to stretch it to 1080p this is how you do it so I'm doing it in kind of a reverse order to kind of show you um, so normally you would just drag in the, the little bit of 1080p video and then edit on from there. And then when you go to export, you can export 1080p. But being that we're still in 720, how are we going to do this? Well, what we're going to do is say we had a lot of audio and everything and all our transitions and little splits and everything. We're just going to select everything, right click on it and hit cut. And then we're going to go up here and hit edit and paste. What that will do is actually it pastes in that first video clip first and then basically everything after that. And the proof is because if you go to settings, now we're at 1080p. So after that, basically if you hit file, share, file, you can export out at 1080p. So you would want to change that to better quality, but um, there you go. And pretty much that's how I take any video that's at a lower resolution and then I match it to 1080p. I do this a lot with some things, but the one thing that will happen is it will take a lot longer for it to export because it has to reprocess all that video that's in 720 and stretch it a little bit. So I stopped doing this mainly because there's not a whole lot of benefit uh, with this except for if the video will be in 1080p and uh, I used to do it because I figured that uh, somewhere within Google's algorithm it basically drops any video that's in 720 or anything like that down to a lower search and so I can't be positive that that's how it works but I thought well if that's how it works I'm going to do my videos this way so that I know that it will be in 1080p so this will allow you to do that. So now we're in 1080, and so if you export it out and upload it to YouTube, you'll be good to go. So 
what how this how, how this works is you're just resizing each picture of the video and it's much like if you were to edit a image and you zoom in of course you're going to lose a little bit of quality because it's going to pixelize a little bit now uploading this to youtube it's not going to make a difference because uh the way that they process video you won't see it at all so it will just look like it was filmed in 1080p um, on a camera that is, is halfway decent so um, the naked eye from YouTube you won't be able to see it now you can do this with with 4k so you could take a 1080p video drop a 4k snippet in front of it and then export that video at 4k and going from 1080 going from 720 to 1080p is a small step going from 1080p to 4k is a lot bigger of a step so you're gonna see a lot more um, uh, video loss and it's gonna be a little bit more pixelated um, but going from 720 to 1080p not really that hard of a jump it would just take a little bit longer to export the video and the video will be a little bit bigger but other than that you won't lose video quality so hopefully that helps somebody especially if you have a Tello and you want to export those videos at 1080p that's how you do it alright you guys take it easy and have a good one peace